Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a DIY Dollar Tree pumpkin chalkboard for fall. You're gonna need a silver tray from the Dollar Tree, some black 97 cent spray paint from Walmart, some orange or white paint at your choice, and optional is some chalkboard paint. If you have some black chalkboard paint, um, that is an option. So as you see here, I'm just spray painting the trays. I got a round one and an oval one, and I'm just spray painting them with the black flat paint from the from Walmart, excuse me. And um, if you notice, they were already orange. Um, I tried to use that chalkboard paint as per its directions, and it really jacked up on me. So that was a fail. So uh, step two, we're going to go ahead and use the black spray paint. <laughs> Um, it says it's for all surfaces, and it said to s let it dry an hour between coats. And I let it dry an hour and a half between coats, and then put on the second coat, and it was peeling off the first coat. So I had to start over. So I'm going to do these two different ways. You guys have probably seen these lots of times. Um, this is a requested video um, from a subscriber who said um, they had seen something on Pinterest where somebody had gotten a round mirror um, picture frame and inserted a chalkboard in the middle and painted it orange to look like a pumpkin that she thought I could do something with these trays and I thought I would just put my own little spin on it um, as you could see here I've taken the oval tray to make one of the um, squatty fat little pumpkins and I've put it backwards okay so that's gonna sound strange to everybody I think that they're so used to um, everybody painting the insides of these trays. But th I did this for two, two reasons. First of all, it is much easier to get a clean line on a raised surface. So as I paint against this raised hill surface, I get a much cleaner line. If I go over the line like that, it's so much easier to just take your flat finger against the uh, object that you painted off, uh, painted on, and to wipe it off. Okay, so I did one coat of orange on the oval um, tray. Boy, I'm having trouble. And now I'm going to take white and paint the white on here. So um, this is just Apple Barrels white paint from the from Walmart. And I will show you that even with my quote unquote expert painting skills, it is still very difficult for me to keep this straight line. I have a pretty steady hand and even with the steady hand, this isn't a, a perfect crease on this tray. And um, you know, it's not, it's not super easy. So I had to go back a few times and do a few touch ups and it still isn't perfect, but it's perfect for me. I love it. Um, and since my house, like I said, have said before in the past is black, white, and red, um, then I really definitely wanted to have a white pumpkin with a black chalkboard in it. So I am going to show you these two ways for, for two reasons. Um, one is there's two different skill levels involved and two, it's a matter of like some people have chalk paint and don't have the black flat spray paint and some people have the black flat spray paint and not chalkboard paint. And I want to show you that you could do it with both. So I'm going to show you both techniques. Okay. So I'm just going very carefully. And as you can see, as carefully as I'm going, still not perfect. Um, you could take the time and mask this off. Um, you know, you could cut out a perfect circle, but I, I can't think of any way that it would come out absolutely perfectly. Um, if you cut out a perfect size circle out of like a clear contact paper, then you would get a perfect edge, but it wouldn't necessarily be the perfect edge, you know, that, that where the sides meet. Okay. So now that I've let this dry, this is the next day and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a second coat to the orange because this orange gloss paint from Apple Barrel is an indoor outdoor paint and it kind of is thin. So as you can see here, once I go over with the second coat, it makes a much more um, opaque orange color. And what I'm actually going to do after I get my second coat on there is I'm going to make, I was thinking about making some sort of like almost like an embossed surface, not embossed, enameled, excuse me, that wasn't the right word, I like an enameled surface. So I'm actually going to end up pouring um, a paint in the well. Um, just to kind of fill it in and make it look like nice and smooth. 
get rid of all of the tray-esque type bumps and stuff, which you can't really tell on the video that are even there. But in real life, you can. <laughs> and that's me trying to tap in all the paint to fill in all the little creases and divots. And I realized, what the heck am I wasting my time for? I should just pour some paint in there. But I'll get to that in a second. But this, like I said, if you're a beginner painter, doing the backwards part of the tray is definitely going to be easier. And also, the uh, second reason I wanted to do it is because it gives it more of a relief uh, feel, like a pumpkin, like a three-dimensional feel where the pumpkin would come at you. Um, that's what this does for it, you know. The, the bottom of the chalkboard tray comes out at you. Um, so as you saw there, I just poured some paint along the whole well, and I'm just using my paintbrush to flatten it all out. And there we go, do some more. And I uh, just use my paintbrush to level it out, spread it out a little bit. Um, did a little tappy tap on the uh, on the um, paint mat. And then just get that clean edge. As I set that off to dry, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the stems. <laughs> so as you can see here, this is a brown paper bag. This is an option. There are many stems out there. There are many options. Um, Jim works at Taco Bell. I got free ba bags. I've since bought craft paper, but this is it. So I basically cut a section of the bag off, and I've, on an angle, I've twisted it. I've rolled it up, and then I've just twisted, twisted, twisted. Once I have it twisted the way I like it, I untwist it a little bit, put a little hot glue in there, and twist it back up again. And just use your fingers to make whatever shape that you want for your pumpkin stem. What I've decided to do was I've cut a V on the bottom because the pumpkin stem is supposed to come in a little bit. Do you see that? And it makes it look a little bit more like it's divoting into a pumpkin. And this is just like I, you saw it. It's a brown paper Taco Bell bag. And I'm hot gluing it there and setting it aside. Now this tray needs some more love. I'm going to use this chalkboard paint. This is a satin chalkboard paint that I had gotten on clearance at Target a long time ago. And I have to tell you, I would not buy this again. This is the chalkboard paint that messed up to, on me. But I said, oh, let me try it with the second, as a second coat to like the black primer um, from, from Walmart. And it doesn't make a smooth finish. You're supposed to put on two coats minimum and it doesn't make a smooth finish. And like I told you the first time that I did it, it, um, it, the second coat peeled off the first coat, which was just a disaster. So I won't use it again, but I wanted to just show you guys the option of what to do if you have a perfectly imperfect tray. And as you can see, it's making a huge mess out of my white, pretty white ring. <laughs> just trying to get it smooth take some of the paint back off again. Um, trying to get that smooth we, with the foam brush. I mean, if you can't get a smooth finish with a foam brush, there's a problem, you know? That's what foam brushes are all about. But as you can see, all the streaks there, you can see all the lines. I'm going to set that off to dry. And this is the next day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with the white and I'm going to touch up, try to touch up some of that ring where the white um, with a, with a black one over the white. So, excuse me. So you can see here, I'm just touching up. Um, you don't have to do this. You don't have to use the chalkboard paint. You don't have to make it perfect. You could take some hot glue and some jute and just basically make like a trim. You can glue the jute around the whole inside of the chalkboard so that you can cover up your imperfect line. That's an option. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is going to add the stem to this pumpkin. I made this one longer and bent and I'm going to glue it to the back of the tray just again to show you another different option. All right. And then if you have any leaves left over, you could cut leaves out of 
a brown paper bag, or you could use leaves left over from any of your projects just to make it a little bit more zhuzhou. So what I've done there is I've primed the chalkboard. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome, first of all. Second of all, I've gone over many times, you need to prime your chalkboards, whether you buy them at the Dollar Tree, whether you make them at home with paint or buy chalkboards, you know, you, what you need to do is you need to take a piece of chalk, rub it against the flat side of the piece of chalk against the chalkboard and prime it. Um, so that makes it so that you don't permanently mark your chalkboard forever and ever. So this is just one coat of flat black spray paint on the back of this pumpkin tray. And I so just love the way that that looks. Um, you know, it takes away the newness of spray paint. And this is a chalk paint marker. This is a washable chalk paint marker. Now I did find out that when I was this summer, I found out that even these aren't guaranteed to come off of a porous surface. So I have chalkboard stickers that I buy at the Dollar General when it's back to school time. They're made by contact for like, you know, contact paper. And those have released every sort of, yeah, they come, they, these come off of that. Easy breezy Japanesey. Um, so this one, I've just picked three different hand fonts and I will get to the lettering tutorial probably after the autumn season. I'm sorry it's going to take me so long, but there is just so many autumn and Halloween crafts to get to for me to try to give that in-depth tutorial on the, the lettering and stuff. So I'm sorry for those of you who have requested it, it will be coming. It's just taking a little bit longer than I had hoped. Um... And if you stick around to the end, you'll see I had a heck of a time. I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> it was just not working for me. And this chalkboard is a chalkboard from the Dollar Tree. And it says, I'm thankful for. And this is going to be my autumn coffee bar menu. <laughs> so um, I'm writing coffee. I'm thankful for coffee. And then underneath I wrote pumpkin spice and everything nice. And like I said, I had a heck of a time. I've made it. It was a few mistakes. You'll see. Just stick around if you want to see the bloopers at the end. I actually kept them for you. So um, these are them. So I really did enjoy making this. Thank you for suggesting it. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody who'd like to make one of these, share with friends and family. And if you make one, share it with me on social media, whether you can um, message me on Facebook, tag me on Instagram, or send me an email at mrsgarthb2 at gmail.com. And um, like I said, I hope you really enjoyed this because I really enjoyed making it for you. This one, I just glued a piece of jute on the back as an option. And then the other one, I just put in a plate stand as another option. And... As always, you take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Stick around for the bloopers. Bye.